I'm not sure if you heard, but the 3080 12 gig just launched. And I wouldn't be too surprised if you completely missed it. Let's do this. Andy, what are you watching? It's, uh, it's, it's not what you think. Wow, it's so big. Why, thank you. It's the new AOC AG493 UCX. 49 inches of pure performance and a refresh rate of 120 hertz. It's so fast. You can even do two at a time. What? You can connect two devices at a time and split the screen. With FreeSync Premium Pro, a 32 to nine aspect ratio and a built-in KVM, you'll be finished in no time. Gaming, I mean. What, what did you think I mean? Get your mind out of the gutter and click the link in the description to find out more. So as I said, the 3080 12 gig is here. For those not in the know, it's a whopping two gig above the original 3080 that launched back in September of 2020. But there were a lot of other rumored specs about an increase in core count on CUDA, RT and Tensor cores, an increase in memory bus and an increase in power. But you have to ask, what's the point? So since the launch of the RTX 3080, some releases haven't exactly gone <clears throat> well for Nvidia. Not just in terms of the fact of not being able to get hold of one, referring to the 3070 Ti and 3080 Ti, but even before that, reviewers pretty much canned Nvidia for releasing cards that, while they offered more performance, it was at a cost of power draw gains and, well, a cost of money. So that brings me to today. And don't worry, this isn't just a talking head video. We do actually have performance figures at the end of this video. Now, there are a few things to go through first. We've already published a video at the launch time of this card at 2 p.m. UK time, showing you the card and talking about it based on rumors and speculation, because that is all we had. Nvidia didn't give us any information other than telling us that AIBs are navigating this launch and a new game ready driver will be released today at some time. We wasn't told what time, but just that it would be today. So after doing our own digging in an attempt to get a straight answer, we found out that the driver was dropping at the same time as the carts. And, well, that just seemed a bit odd to us. Why would a company launch a product, which I can only assume is available to buy now, obviously if you're quick enough based on previous launches, but not give any information on it to the people who can help drive sales and project that information to consumers? And yeah, I'm talking about us, reviewers, tech media, influencers, whatever you want to call us, and everyone in between. So based on that, there are some theories going around. Now, I've spoken to many other media outlets from around the world and a common theme seems to be coming up. So uh, let me uh, go through a couple of them. So the first one is that this is a way of essentially diluting cards that could potentially still be out there that aren't LHR. So basically Nvidia looking like the good guys and trying to get more LHR cards out there and eventually we'll see the 10 gig versions just kind of vanish from existence. I reached out to Nvidia and they told me the product page will be updated, but these two models, so I'm talking about the 12 gig model and the 10 gig model, both 3080s, will actually coexist. Now, the second one is based on kind of how badly received other cards in the stack were. This is an opportunity to potentially give a bit more performance without that huge kind of $500 price increase from the 3080 10 gig to the 3080 Ti. I mean, the 12 gig card was rumored to be, rumored to be $799, which makes it a fair proposition based on where it's due to be positioned. Remember, I'm recording this video before the 2 p.m. launch time. So the pricing, and it probably is, could be completely wrong. I will put an update in the comment section once more concrete information is out there and also be sure to check out what we post up on etechnics.com. Now, the third one is that Nvidia are doing this as a bit of a cash grab. Now, for anyone who doesn't know what this is, it's pretty common in Hollywood and movie studios where the big wigs, basically the ones who make all the money, they basically produce sequels when something doesn't necessarily require it. I mean, we all remember Son of the Mask or Jaws the Revenge. Right, do you see my point? So are Nvidia releasing this literally to make money, which I'm all for, they are a business, I'm a business, why wouldn't they wanna make money? But not at the expense of the consumer getting the raw end of the deal. I mean, do you think there's some truth in that? Are Nvidia the sort of company who would do something like that? Again, 
let me know in the comment section. The other odd thing really is how this is launching. Even after speaking to Nvidia, AIBs, retailers, other media outlets, everyone is in the dark. And I'm not overreacting here. I'm talking about AIBs, at least in their regional roles, have no idea about this card. Retailers have no idea on what pricing is. And there is chatter that this card may not even have an MSRP. And that to me, frankly tells me straight away that the 799 US dollar figure I heard before may be wildly off. What I'm trying to get at is that at the time of speaking to you right now, this is a very nice, very shiny paperweight. But be rest assured, this video does have performance figures because through the power of movie magic and video editing, we're putting them in at the end for you to make your own decision on what you think. And I am interested to see what you think. So again, let's get a discussion going in the comments section below and I'll try to reply to as many as I can or head on over to our Discord, link below. Before we get actually into that, back to kind of the specs or the supposed specs. And again, I have no concrete information. I'm as much in the dark as you guys because I've not been sent anything. I've not got the driver until after this card has launched. But if the rumors are anything to go by, and I'd like to think we do have reliable sources, we're now seeing more streaming multiprocessors, more CUDA cores, more RT cores, more Tensor cores compared to the 10 gig. The same boost clock, but a lower base clock, which is something that we saw with the 3080 Ti when comparing it to the 10 gig version of the 3080. I guess it's all about getting the balance of more cores, but better, but more efficient cores. Something we've seen a lot lately with a battle between AMD and Intel on desktop CPUs. Now, what I will do, again, movie magic, blah, 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 is overlay the GPU Z screenshots of the 3080 10 gig, 12 gig, and the 3080 Ti. So you can see for yourself how they compare spec wise. Also, if I can, I'll put the pricing up on screen. So again, this gives you kind of enough information to arm yourself with, you know, to make a well-informed decision. Not that you'll be able to buy one because they'd be out of stock. Now, in terms of performance, normally we'd shower you with between six to 10 cards to compare everything kind of against each other. But this in my eyes is technically a refresh and consumers are gonna be asking a couple of simple questions. The first, how much better is it than the 10 gig version? Does the extra two gig and potentially up to 3% more cores really make much of a difference? And the second being how close to the 3080 Ti is it in terms of performance, especially when looking at the price tag difference? Well, to answer that, future Andy will be sitting there while this video is being edited testing 3080, 10 gig, 3080 Ti and this card, the 12 gig 3080. Now, one thing you will notice is that all the models we have are all Supreme X models from MSI to be as fair as possible. Talking about the rest of the kind of specs of the test bench, we're running our GPU test bench consisting of a Ryzen 9 5900X, 32 gig of Corsair Domplat 3600 megahertz memory, two terabyte Seagate Fire CUDA 520, Notua D15S, and a Zeus Crosshair 8 Dark Hero motherboard, and a Corsair RMX, RM1000X power supply. So with all that out of the way, and me wanting you to really make your own minds up, I'll leave you with the charts and hope that kind of at the end of it, you enjoyed this video. If you did, you know exactly what to do, and I'll see you in the next one. Now let's run those glorious benchmarks. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.